What is up, Drum Alert Nation? Subscribe to the first podcast or else. We'll do it live. All right, we'll go. do it live. Go. go. Oh. Oh. The podcast starts now. Oh. Uh, hi, welcome to the podcast. This is Mike Diva, um, and you're, oh man, you're in for such a good 45 Ooh. minutes to an hour of podcast. Um, juicy. I, I, you know, that's it. It's juicy. It's great. It's delicious. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Like a pot pie. Much like a pot pie. Um, uh, yeah, like a, a Keemstar uh, loves it, um, and this this episode <laughs> is brought is brought to you by the Keemstar YouTube channel. Go check it out, www.youtube.com slash Keemstar, and um, yeah. Take it away, Keemstar. Let's go. We're, we're recording this live from Drum, Drum Alert Nation, actually. Yeah. Uh, right <laughs> yeah, we should go Clarence. Uh, what's the next? What's the latest on Tana? What's the latest on Tana Mojo? <laughs> Tana, Mon- Tana Monjo? I think she's dead. Tana Mongadu. Kudos. Yes. Kudos. Kudos. Okay. Kudos. Kudos. What are you? What are you doing here, man? Um, I've been uh led astray once again. Lars from Norway has somehow uh, tricked me into hosting this, co-hosting this as well. Uh, so uh, thank you for having me. We'll see what how this tri- goes. This was Delplex's idea. Oh, oh shit. Okay, well. It was my idea. Um, yes, I'm here as well. Nice to meet you, Mike. Lovely to meet you, in fact. Lovely. I've been a fan for a long time. And now I'm also uh, oh, cool. possibly co-hosting the, uh, the Tijuana podcast. Oh, you're, you're not even supposed to be here. No, no he, he snuck in through the back. I'm really glad he is. I just got here and I didn't unmute myself and they just, they haven't server muted me yet. So I, I guess they want me to <laughs> well, keep talking. I, you know, I will say that Kudos has the best voice and, and most soothing presence oh, out of yeah. all of you. Right. So um, what do you want me to say? I was actually going to say ditch the rest of the guys and keep Kudos. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that works. But no, no, no. But no, no. Um, <laughs> just, uh, I don't know. Just give a Keem shout out, you know? Yeah. This is all about Keemstar. <clears throat> this is, before we were talking, by the way, before before all of this, <laughs> like an hour ago, all of this, Kudos and I were talking, and um, we were we were thinking on the next episode that we were all together. I think we should talk about our heights. Yes. The f- I yeah. didn't consent to this. See, Lars is very insecure about his height, and he likes to bring it up a lot. Oh, not insecure. I just feel like it would be a good comparison to do. Is this how you guys start all your podcasts? Is this how they start? Yes. Yes. Every single one. (laughs) Banal Minutia. Is it always? This is it. Okay. This is is like a fever dream. It's a fever dream for your ears. Mike, real quick, just checking that you have your headphones plugged in and turned down slightly. Oh, yeah. I can turn them down a little bit. Okay. Let's bring them up. I'm noticing a little bit of a blip when some of us talk. I am am turned down. Okay. So... The point of this segment. Edit, edit out that whole intro, by the way. Let's start it again. All right. Yeah. On the top <laughs> of the show. From the top? Ready? Okay. I'm totally right. going to do one. that. You guys, kick it off. Kick it off. All right. Go. All right. Hey, everybody. <laughs> We're here with Mike Diva. Uh, Mike, go ahead and open up the podcast. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. This is the uh, <laughs> this is the Keemstar Keemcast uh, brought to you by keemstar.youtube.com. Uh, check it out, all you drama <laughs> alert niche uh, members, and uh, let's just get right into it. Let's let's jump right into it. Okay. Let's um, just jump so into Logan it. Paul and uh, is he? Oh my god! Have Logan you seen Paul him? And Conor McGregor. He's so what are we again. gonna do about Logan Paul and Conor fucking McGregor? What are we gonna do, guys? I reckon. Oh, take it away. Yeah. So, hi, first of all, welcome to Drama Alert Nation. Uh, currently, no quarantine happening in <laughs> Drama Alert Nation. Uh, no testing being done either. <laughs> Uh, so oh, it's, a sh- it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think Logan Paul. Uh, I think I have to bleep that. He's- <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. You you got in trouble for that, didn't you? Uh, for something Doflex said on oh, the really? previous episode, you made a joke about uh, not <laughs> out, and the the video got flagged. Is that true? Oh no! Wait, us? Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you talking about? Yeah, sorry. No, uh, no, no, no. We didn't get in trouble. I just realized that Doplex made like like a really kind of glib joke about the the virus that I oh. had to edit out of the, the yeah. final production. I forgot what the joke was, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was just something like it's don't not- wear, you know, like a very ironic. Like- stop! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> we have to edit that out again. All right. Spit swap with your neighbor. I mean, it's so funny because like you guys off the, off of the podcast, you guys are always talking about how you <laughs> and you, <laughs> but like on yeah. the podcast, you can't say that <laughs> well, sort of thing. Yeah, because we want to present like. A united front with the rest of America, but like, 
Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about heights. Okay, so let's let's yeah. kind of go down the line. Let's say let's say in reverse alph- alphabetical order here, starting with okay. Mike. What is your height? Damn, five eleven. Five eleven. Fuck. Be tall. All right. Oh, kudos. That's a good height. So so, so we'll, we'll just round it up to six. Uh, I'm God damn it. I'm five ten. All right. <laughs> <sighs> You get rounded up to six. You can on Tinder. That's not. That's not he how literally it works. just did. He works. just did it. I'm six did, feet. But I won't accept yeah, yeah. it. I'm a six foot king, is what they say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Well, I am a short king, because I'm I'm standing in at a tall, a very tall, a very meaty, very strong five six. Five six is a healthy height. Now, now, thank you. Now, Mike, uh, Lars, would you like to tell us your height? And maybe suddenly this whole segment will make a lot more sense. Okay. Uh, I'm six one. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay. Mm, I don't yeah. believe you, but okay. Who, who, so who brought this topic up again? That would be you, kudos. I did. I definitely did not you know, bring this topic up. I'm, I'm starting to get the feeling that Lars brought this up at the top of the show specifically to shame us into feeling underneath him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, very manipulative. But here's the thing: Mike's six foot. Right. So he's, you know, th- yeah. that didn't work on him. But you knew you were taller. Like, you knew. Like, you looked yeah. at my wiki and you were like, oh, cool, I'm <laughs> taller than all of these guys. Yeah. And I can assert my dominance in a rival sense, it in is. a rival way, which is fucked up. And no, I just, I kind of see, I see what kind of podcast you guys are running here. So that's cool. Yeah, Lars is all hunched over his desk. Well, so you see what kind of podcast Lars is running. We're, we're both constantly at odds, uh, <laughs> having to defend other short kings. So I just want to, like, kind of point out something. Yes. That, that right. the moment that Doplex delivered his height, Mike said that that that's a healthy height. It's and when healthy. healthy is the only <laughs> word you can use to describe that, I don't right. know. a baby. <laughs> hey, well, <healthy>. let's- <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how you describe a baby's weight. Yeah. Like it's a healthy weight. It's a healthy height. <laughs> <weight. laughs> He's a healthy eleven pound boy. <laughs> He's definitely eating his greens. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dope, yeah. Yeah. You're beautiful. Uh, you know, at, uh, God, at in high school, in high school, I I smoke. I used to smoke cigarettes, right? I, I quit. I don't smoke cigarettes Gross. anymore. Yeah, smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Really good health advice from Doplex here. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm all about uh I'm I'm all about self Dying. preservation. I don't care about the rest, just me. Just real quick, just to interject, guys, please 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 wear your masks. Just a, just like a serious moment. Oh, like yeah. please yeah. wear your yeah. masks. Uh, wear yeah. a mask. Yes. 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 That's a given. Yeah. I feel I like we, should, feel we shouldn't even have to point that out. Yes, no, we shouldn't have to point that out. Wear your right. mask. Yeah. Continue. Uh all right. Okay. That anyway. was whack. We had to be get serious for a second. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like. But also, in 2020, you have to. You have to. You have yeah, right. I feel you like do. I was yes, eating like a nice chicken burger, and then there was a bone in it. That was that was us having right. to get serious. I was like, ah, fuck. Wait, wait, right, we're problem. restarting the show from the top, guys. All right, uh, all right. Ready, let's go. Hey, what's uh, welcome to the first podcast. podcast. We're here what's with up? Mike Diva. Mike, right. go ahead and start the podcast. All right, today's Keemcast is brought to you by Keem.Keem, and we're ready to <laughs> keem it up on the news, ready for that Tana Montague versus Tango Jake Mango. Uh, take it away, <laughs> Tango <laughs> Mango, Keemy Beamy. Let's go. All right, guys, this is uh, Tana Mojo here to say this, that um, <laughs> this Sunday, Mr. Beast, uh, let's talk about Mr. Beast for a second. <laughs> so in the pre-show, we were talking about how apparently just today, Mr. Beast has launched a nationwide burger chain? A drama alert nationwide burger chain? Yes, Mr. Beast Reality, famous, famous YouTuber, decided that he could make burgers, uh, and he realized he could not. Yeah, it's really because like the all every review I have seen has just been absolutely dunking on him. Apparently they don't actually <laughs> cook the burgers or the chicken. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they yeah, yeah. don't but- cook it. No, they don't cook it. That's the thing. Is um, that's the twist of the video. So you just get raw meat between cold bread. I'm not even joking. Like I'm looking on Twitter, and yeah, there's like reviews that the chicken was served medium rare, and um, there's hair in the Which food. Which is the best way to have chicken, by the way. Like you know, <laughs> yeah. I know that's that's the thing when you go to a barbecue joint. If you order like a well done chicken, all the guys they'll look at you and be like, ugh. Hold on, I, I, have a, I have a question about this, Lars. I, I don't I don't know how how brushed up you are on your. Mr. Beast fast food chain knowledge, but does he have a chicken sandwich that is called Mr. Breast? Oh, uh, that would have been a great name. I can't believe you. Oh, so he on doesn't. That. No, he doesn't. Uh, what an asshole. Mike, have you Fuck heard about him. this today? <laughs> no, I have not at all. Okay. Have you ever had a burger before? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, what? Have you ever had a burger before? What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> yeah, have you ever had a burger before? Yes. Okay, well, I've that was your bomb in this. You're, so you have had at least two. So imagine, at least two. imagine you now had that same delicious sandwich, but made by famous YouTuber Mr. Breast, uh, and it was oh my, God. and it was undercooked and literally pink in the middle. <laughs> oh, if apparently Mr. that's Breast what it is. Made me oh, amazing. He, you know, I, but I'd still eat it because it's a pro gamer move. You know, it's like, I don't right. care how it tastes. Just give it yeah. to me because it's Mr. Beast sandwich. Do you think, okay, okay. Of respect. Actually, speaking of, while we're giving out awful health advice, do you think raw chicken secretly tastes really good? Like, you know, when you get like a nice, no. like medium no. rare steak. Oh, so good. It, it really looks so good. beautiful and meaty and beefy chicken and delicious. Sushi. Do you reckon, oh that, God, do you reckon so raw chicken's probably like, like the, the forbidden fruit of meat? Oh, it's so good. It's like sushi. I mean, it's like, you know, salmon, like <laughs> yeah. when it's cooked and like your dad makes it and right. it's like super dry mm. and shitty. And then you have like sushi grade salmon. And you're like, oh, fuck. Uh, it's the same thing with chicken. Yeah. And I, like I advise yeah. each and every listener out there to eat raw chicken right now. Yeah. At- well, hold on. No, masks are a hoax. Masks are real. They exist. <laughs> with the concept of masks as a hoax. <laughs> the masks, masks are a hoax. Are there masks? <laughs> masks do not. Hey, guys, shut the fuck up. Have you ever seen a mask in real life? Come to think of it. Yeah, I've only ever seen them in advertisements. <laughs> have you ever yeah. really seen a mask? Like, have you been in a room <laughs> what if, with a mask? Yeah, what if masks in real life no. is just an acronym? Merle. Like, what would that? what does that actually mean? Mask. <laughs> uh, Men no, 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 no. There was a show called Mask Kudos. where it was an acronym. It was like a G.I. Joe ripoff. So, somebody remembered. Hey, Wait, only really? 80s, only 80s kids will remember this only one. Only 80s kids will Top remember this one. In the 80s. No, you're thinking Top you're thinking ten. of Jim Carrey's The Mask, where he says, Somebody nah, stop me. Bro. Nah, bro. Okay, go to s- s- somebody go to Google right fucking now and click M dot right, A dot. I'm going. Yep. S dot K. Then search. And I swear to God, I'm it going. stands for something. They made a series of action figures about it. No, you're right. And uh, and it stands for something. Oh, wow. What does it stand for? What's the acronym? It's like men. Mobile and- Armored Strike Command. <laughs> With a K? With a K? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were so yeah. desperate. They were so desperate. <laughs> we gotta make this fit. <laughs> they were like, and that's they were like, wouldn't it be sick if we called them killers? And they're like, we can't call them that. What's, no, <laughs> it's a kids show. It's a Come kids on. show. Just call it Commanders, and we'll hope Wait, no one notices. As he crumples up a ball, <laughs> a piece of paper that says Comers on it. So apparently, they <laughs> they fight against the the Venom, the V E N O M, the Vicious Evil Network of Mayhem, which is like a better acronym. Like it doesn't have to struggle. Venom. Yeah, that's cool. How many like villains actually think they're evil though? Like, don't a lot of them think they're in the right? <laughs> like, you're kind of, you know, you're that's literally wearing it on, the, on your skin that. there if you just call yourself Venom. Eighties <laughs> villains really leaned into it. Yeah, like, they knew. They loved it. Yeah. Well, oh, they loved it because because like eighties yeah. yeah. villains they leaned into it, but then like nineties villains had this weird thing where, like, I never really questioned it as a kid, but nineties villains were like. I'm going to destroy the world. And it was like, that was their goal was to destroy you're, the you're world. You're on the world yeah. too, dummy. Yeah. You're there too. <laughs> yeah. right. But it was all about like balance like and equilibrium and like, oh, like, yeah, there's always some weird, like, you know, oh, to bring balance or like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And, then, and then like the 2000s and 2010s were like, we need to get dark and gritty. And sometimes you can't tell the villain from the hero. Yeah. Or maybe the villain was the hero all along. Yeah. Or what are kids? Sibling. What are like villains and kids shows like now? Because I mean, that we're talking. I feel like we're mostly talking about kids shows, which is like very uncomplicated. Are there kids right. shows now, or are there just TikTok? There's, there's just YouTube. I feel like there's just TikTok and YouTube, and there's like you know, there's like Johnny Johnny Yes Papa. Oh man, I, right. I fell down a Johnny Johnny Yes Papa rabbit hole a couple of days ago. There's this channel, oh, good. and it's like a couple of days ago. There's just so much awful animation made by like people living in like the desert or oh. something, and it's just they just all these animations of like every buzzword you can think of that kids are into, and they're like, let's just make <laughs> it into like an animation, and so oh, it'll be yeah. like it's, Among it's Us, Siren Head. Uh, five nights at Freddy's. Dude, no, no, Pippa dude, Pig. No. Yeah. Literally, I okay. So like, I just made a video with the guy who did Siren Head. Who yeah, made, I saw who made that. the I loved character, it. Uh, Trevor, Trevor Henderson. Yeah, yeah. I Thank love you. his work. Hey, um, it is and, so scary. Yeah, I'm a huge fan as well. Uh, 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 and so like, but like, we're having trouble like getting people to actually like fucking watch it. Mm. Uh, and so like, we're trying to like sneakily, dude. 
like we looked up Siren Head and like saw like what the tags and like what the mm. videos are called. And there's so many, it's insane. And it's like exactly what you described. It's like Siren Head versus Venom from Spider Man. Yeah. And it's like yeah. the shittiest cartoon, da da da. And so <laughs> because the video is in Russian, my fucking sneaky snake move was that I uh, I added Siren Head in Russian to the end of the video title. Oh. So to, Amer- to Americans, it just looks like it's some random Russian, but Russians know that it's a shameless uh, scam <laughs> right. to get people to watch this video. And will YouTube, uh, like, so, will, will YouTube still add that into the tags uh, for English then? Like, will it still... Does it work that way? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. It's not working so great so far, but we'll see. <laughs> I just thought that that was a good sneaky programmer move, you know. Yeah, I write there. That's cool. <laughs> no, that's 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 genius. I don't know what it is about <laughs> um, spooky stuff and, and like kids these days. Kids these Yo. days, like you know, I guess you have like that morbid curiosity, but it feels like. Well, yeah. Sorry, you go. Here's what it is. Here's uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, 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 the I, I I equate it to. Do you guys remember the books Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark? Yeah, yes. those things were fucking terrifying. Yeah, yeah. So like. Alvin Schwartz, the guy who uh, uh, drew that shit, right? Uh, like Trevor Henderson is the uh, Gen Z Alvin mm. Schwartz, you know? Yeah. And so, like, it's the same thing that compelled us as ten year olds to go to the library and rent those, you know, borrow those books, and like they'd scare the shit out of us, blah blah blah. Uh, I, I feel like that is what Siren Head and Slender Man, etc., is to these kids, and so it makes perfect sense. Uh, why why anybody would want to see him fight Venom, I don't know. But. <laughs> it's like Venom and like Among Us and just like, so what are kids right. and like a full guys probably before that. It, it's literally just like how many buzzwords can we fit into one title? It doesn't even make sense. Yeah. And then you watch the video yeah. and it's, it's, I feel like it's the equivalent of just like eating paste for your eyes. It's, oh my it's God. nothing. It's real fucked it's up. It's just nothing. When you get down that rabbit hole, that rabbit hole of like, you know, that fucking Joker dating Elsa. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's like that sort of thing. Yeah. It's, it gets a little dark. Yeah. I always wondered like what the appeal was behind the whole like Elsa gate. Cause I, I can't imagine like, I'm thinking like me as a kid. Right. And like the shit I would watch as a kid was pretty straightforward. You know, they're all like original narratives. It was all like, it wasn't anything like I, I need these hybrid, like I need a big mashup of just shit. I like, like it's, mm. it feels like, it feels almost like cheating because it's kind of like the checks mix of children shows. It's like, look, we got Elsa who's giving birth to Spider-Man and Hulk is going to come in <laughs> yeah. and absolutely destroy her asshole. And it's just like, <laughs> right. I, I don't understand the favorite. appeal. I have a theory. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, Which let's is here's, here's, here's what I think probably happened. There's probably like one dude who just did like the Spider-Man and Elsa concept and like he, so, for some reason his stuff took off on the algorithm and it's not that the people who were imitating him were trying to like do something sensical. They just saw that what he was doing was working. So they just made it. Uh, this is probably like a cascading yeah. thing where no one knows why they're doing it. They're just doing it. Cause it works <clears throat> kind of oh, like a carp thing on Twitter. I mean, that makes, that makes sense. I, uh, I have a, a theory that kind of goes along with that in the sense that like, I, 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 I think that with the internet being something that, modern day children are growing up with and you get everything all the time all at once uh wait can you hear me yeah we can hear you yeah, yeah. i just got disconnected okay. you're just so riveting you've silenced the entire room uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah we're all, we're all um, around the campfire just listening <laughs> i don't know I, I i think that the oversaturation of content uh and oversaturation of being able to access anything all the time all at once whenever and there's just mm. content that's infinite um right I think that those videos are kind of an amalgamation of that in a sense that like uh, in Ghostbusters 2, the pink ooze was an amalgamation of like the New Yorkers, yeah. uh, you know, hatred, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, we're so angry and we're in fucking New York. And yeah, you know, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. It's the I'm walking here paste. It's the like I'm walking here paste as they call it in the movie. And like, um, I think that the equivalent of that is these fucking pop culture face fuck YouTube videos mm. where it's just like, nah, uh, Elsa from Frozen isn't enough for me. Spider-Man's not enough. Let's fuck them all together into one video. And right. like, that's and what's going to do it for me. Because I am, right, and like, I am insane and I'm eight and I fucking have all of the information <laughs> of the entire universe fucking thrown in my eyes all at once, yeah. for, you know, as I'm growing up. And it's right. like almost as if like, 
that's just the the culmination of it. It's it's mm. kind of uh, fucked up, and it makes me think like, what's that going to be like in twenty years? Everything is going to be Ready Player One. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the Ready Player One of YouTube. <laughs> well, that, that was actually a question We're I kind of wanted to into ask the you. Elsa Gate. Um, that was a question I kind of wanted to ask in in that fashion, with the the bar being set exceptionally low on YouTube, uh, probably kind of around floor level. It's a, it's a real tripping hazard. Like when the bar is that low. What made it, what motivates you to create actually good content? Obviously, your your commercial stuff you want to do it good for the client. But oh, say like when you're doing your meme this videos. Is an question for yeah, me. yeah. Here you go. Yeah, here's my here's my host and uh, shots. This is a hypothetical at first. No, okay. no, no. This is actually a question because <laughs> uh, you know I have no claim to be anywhere near as good as you. Uh, Doplex is much closer, but I like good. I like to. I don't want anybody to be, <laughs> to be good as me. No, well, it can only be me. We're yes, trying. well, no, it sorry. is, thankfully. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, you, you have continue, set the bar. Continue. You have definitely set the bar. <laughs> Some bar, yeah, it's still very low, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's uh, maybe around knee height now. Previously, it was around uh, right. toe. But, right. yeah, like yeah. what, you know, even just like your little meme videos are, are so much more than any other meme video. Like what drives you to do something of that quality when you know you could probably just shit out some paste and it would do just as well, you know? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's interesting because like the internet's changed so much from when, I mean, like, man, I, my answer a year ago would have been different than my answer now. Let's put it that way. Yeah, it's, sure. It changes constantly, you know? And, and my old answer is always like, you know, it's like, shit, I, well, actually ever since the YouTube algorithm changed, my answer is like, I, I, I want to see people try harder and make doper mm. shit and I, not that i make like the doper shit but like yeah whatever you try shit that's like fucking it's fine and it's like i just like want to see more creativity on youtube in general and and uh it feels a little bit lately i don't know lately i haven't uploaded as much not only because i'm working on other shit that's outside that realm mm, right. but um you know it's the youtube algorithm has effectively killed creativity in any shape or form and made it impossible to create original quality content mm. at the rate at which the algorithm daddy wants you to make it. Um, you know what I mean? Unless you already have a machine in place, which yeah. uh, I feel like the only people that have been able to get a machine in place and do that uh, had to start around when I started. Yeah, of course. Uh, Corridor Digital being like a great example, you know? Mm. Um, and so like, as far as like, yeah, I, I, you know, it, it, I've, I've actually, to be honest, felt super... <laughs> uninspired by the youtube world i um i i haven't seen much on youtube that i feel like is that fucking cool lately mm, uh, right. i've been much more into like instagram and like little vfx guys that just like do like i don't know like the fucking zach kings that just do little vfx vids and that's cool mm, yeah um but we're in a very weird time we're in a very weird like flux for being a musician and for being a video artist and for being a director um it's it's really interesting because like now more than ever nobody really cares about directors uh and everything is so disposable and content is so like readily available that like you know the, the weight at which a piece of content has like you know uh, value uh is is very very small mm. and so you know it, it, it's interesting because like at the same time people are making amazing things on tiktok and these kids are like 17 um and so i a part of me is like fuck am i just like is youtube and instagram and stuff like that kind of just a step behind this whole other tiktok culture that i feel a little bit too old to dive into i don't know uh I, anyway I, I, but yeah it's it's guy i'm sorry i'm fucking rambling right no, now no, you're, but, you're uh, totally fine i i feel like we're at this weird like this really weird interesting place in the internet and and you know that that uh that just is bizarre and different from before it's like youtube and i mean I, I, you know everybody's kind of struggling in this weird way uh except for the vloggers and the let's player you know right um i i mean i feel like to your point about the whole like if if tiktok is like a, a step ahead i don't know because i feel like there's kind of always been two different places like one for long form content and one for like bite-sized content because like re realistically right. like what, whatever people are making on like instagram or TikTok, or you know, but that that's really it now. I think, uh, but yeah. Like, but whatever, the, whatever they're making there, it's like more so. You just like you 
you like while you're taking a shit, it's just like something you just see. You're like, oh, haha, that's funny, and then you keep scrolling. Whereas like YouTube, or even you know with with what you do, especially like <clears throat> that kind of like cross into, uh, I guess like more mainstream media. You know, like with the commercials you've done, it still has that right. like that Mike Diva flavor where it's hard to like uh for example like uh the Devil May Cry commercial like that right, right. W- was still like it it's a commercial right but it still felt almost too cool to be a commercial if that makes sense <laughs> well that is very sweet thank you <laughs> yeah yeah no, yeah no totally but like it, it you have that i don't know you kind of like breed your your own seed into these <laughs> things and like well, that's they- what i try to do with my, all my work is breed my own seed. seed uh and that's what i say to my crew and i'm just like listen guys <laughs> i'm trying to breed my own seed here and they always think it's weird, and it's so funny that you say that because, like, I get a lot of shit for it. But uh, that's sick. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> oh yeah, no, hundred <laughs> percent. Um, no, no, no. But yeah, to to, I mean, first off, thank you. That's that's super nice. Yeah, uh, of yeah. It's it's really interesting. I feel like YouTube is this platform that like everybody that kind of did what I do did. You know, on one hand, like I do, I put shit on YouTube that's like dumb. I try to do shit that's like dumb and fun just to like get it out of my system. But like, you know, like uh, I want to make a movie. Like I want to be like a actual filmmaker. And, yeah. Like that's what I'm working mm. up towards. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. Um, You're charging up like Goku. I'm charging up. I'm just. This is who lying in bed every night thinking about your movie. This whole time for eight years. Yeah. I've been eight I've been seasons. Just, yeah. Um, <laughs> But no, no, no. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off, Dopex. I, I, I feel like you had more of a point, and I just like. Oh no, cut him off as much as you want. Oh no, you're, you're totally to. fine. I mean, really, my point was, yeah, yeah. Feel free. I'm, I'm a, I'm a perforated box top. Please cut me off as much as you'd like. Um, well, God already I, cut him off four inches, so you, you know you can just keep going. If for, you want. Okay, my the the central thesis of what I was saying was all your shit is very consistent. Kudos is very consistent. And uh, I do, I do want to ask you because uh, Bone Warps is like one of like my favorite ah. favorite video games of all time. I I love Bone Warps with every fiber of my being. That's so funny. And that was really cool that you were in. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's so I've never like nobody's actually talked to me about that in a real way. Oh really? That is yeah, and, and, I, and I, it did really well. And I find that really weird that like more people haven't been like, yo, you were just like randomly in bone work all over the place. Yeah. And, <laughs> just like as you. Yeah. Which was so Which cool. Is, I mean, like it's really weird. I, I do want to ask a little bit about that just because like I, I'm obsessed with that game. Like I, I. Oh, really? Yeah. I have a VR headset and that's the only game I play because it's like it's nothing else is like as far as like VR games go. That's like the one that really like captured me you know what i mean i, I oh, fucking awesome. love that game so much i actually just am getting like a vibe I, i'm I, I haven't actually fully played it yet oh really i've uh i've seen my buddy daniel's uh, uh service arm just like walk through and uh that's it uh, i haven't actually played it oh man you gotta you gotta get in there and get face and i'm all over yourself. that man. yeah i know i know so, so wait it's on the it, it, you can play it on the quest too right i th- i have it on vibe so i'm i'd assume so it's probably better yeah. on the quest because you probably have like the finger. I don't know which one is one with like the finger controls and shit. Okay, moderator Rockshell says you can play it on the on the quest. Uh, but sorry, what were you gonna ask? Oh, I was just gonna ask like how how was that like huh. being in the Bone experience Wars? of like, doing that? Yeah, because uh, it's fucking awesome, man. <laughs> it was really fun, man. I um I fucking love the era of video games where they just found out you can put full motion video into games and and all the sega saturn shit you know what i mean like all that era of like uh you know i don't know like the like mist 2 and like um journeyman project and like all those like uh video the the video games with like people like actual actors in it were always like a huge trip to me and i always loved that shit growing up and so be, like brandon lash uh uh hit me up and i think he just knows that i'm just like a fan of cyberpunk shit right and uh was just like yo 
do you want to be like i feel like you got to be like this hacker cyberpunk employee dude and i was like uh yeah okay yeah <laughs> let's do it and so i literally just like went to his studio and got drunk and uh read it off a teleprompter <laughs> and i did a mediocre job uh, but I hope that it worked out it in the game good. and didn't didn't pull you away from the uh, the aversion. For, I mean, uh, it did only only for the sake. I was like, "Yo, that's Mike Diva." <laughs> <laughs> can, can, can I just interject real quick? And for someone who yeah. uh, can't afford a VR headset, because uh, yeah, well, thanks for rubbing, <laughs> rubbing it in, Doplex. Uh, you know, not all. Oh yeah, no uh, problem. Yep, no. But uh, <laughs> would you care to explain uh, what what you actually uh, did for for Boneworks? <clears throat> yeah, I um. <laughs> I'm I'm like a uh Duplex, how would you describe what I do in that game? <laughs> uh, so describe me much, to me, please. No, I feel weird <laughs> yeah. describing myself. I would love to hear somebody else's interpretation. No, no, it's all good. Yeah. So uh, pretty much like uh you first you first see him, his name is Hayes, right? He's in this uh Oh what? Wait, that's actually my name? Yeah, oh did you no, not know that? Mike. I didn't I didn't know my name was Hayes in the game. That's oh, so funny. Yes. <laughs> Oh, so okay. you, you uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of like an epic introduction, right? Because it's like you're behind this vent, and uh, first of all, Boneworks is like fucking amazing. If you haven't played Boneworks, just uh, go play Boneworks. Just don't even think about it. Go buy a thousand dollar headset. Yeah, that's fine, Topix. They're not yeah. that expensive. Yeah, Four hundred dollars, anyway. three hundred. Yeah, they're they're not that spend, expensive spend, anymore. Spend anyway, spend just six hundred dollars stimulus on a VR headset. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, if you if you get a stimulus check, throw it in the fireplace. Go buy a headset. You don't need the money. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so you run through this vent and you push it open, and on the other side of that is this computer monitor with Mike Diva's face on it, and like it, mm -hmm. it, it he's a uh, yeah, he's like a hacker dude. He's like telling you like, yo, they found your body in the real world. It's it's like it's a mind fuck of a game, and it's just mm. chef's kiss. Do you figure out how bones work in it, or is that just like a weird? Time? Yeah, you yeah, do. that's the whole point of the game. Yeah, uh, oh, it's a beautiful skeleton. Anatomy skeleton. So that's why they call it bone works. Okay, it's a very right, literal right. name. Okay, yeah, exactly. and then you fucking bone. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Like so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. so, guys, let's keep things PG. I'm sorry. Let's, let's not. Just... Nah, the the fucking. Well, let's the get sexy, now. guys. Let's get, get sexy on the podcast. Let's get sexual. So, Lars, so. If you don't know, Mike, uh, Lars mostly uses this podcast to pick up women. So now's uh, yeah. Lars's, I Lars's uh, segment where he's he going after to, your fans now. Honestly, man, it works. I don't know what to say. Like, it's been very, very <laughs> successful. Yeah. Anyway, so, amazing. So if you have any lie. women you can pass on to Lars that does keep him sated, <laughs> who are you cool. asking? All right. <laughs> Doplex. Oh. <laughs> okay. So oh, it, is, it, is your body pillow standing up on its own now? Do you need to retire it? Yeah, it's, it's getting to that point where it's getting kind of crusty for me coming on it all the time. That was right. Okay, ejaculating <laughs> yeah, onto your pillow. Yeah, kind of rolled with that. Uh, let's. Right. Let's, Would you say that it's bone? It's bones work. Ooh. <laughs> Does your bone <laughs> work? Well, I can tell that Lars from Norway's bone works. <laughs> 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 I can tell you that much uh, right now. It's like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lars seems like someone would have hey. a boomerang dick. Uh, I feel like uh, Doplex kind of shoved us off of the heights topic real fast. I think we should get back to that. That's we we didn't really flesh that out. You shoved oh. it off. Oh, yeah, I was excited to keep going, and then Lars was like, "Okay, well, anyway, let's talk about this thing here." You you were yeah. <laughs> you realize we we're okay, coming for you. Full episode is about well, it's, height. It's because Mike pointed out his plan. Yeah. Well, so Doplex, I'm just kind of curious. What? Like, um, here it so is. So as as someone who 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 um, and none of the three of us can really have the five six experience. Right, like, is it, you just crash down a little? Can bit. you tell me about like kind of like <laughs> the struggles that you have? Like, what's it like, man? What's can you yeah, exfoliate I mean, that? Sure, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Really, the worst is like, you know, like when I was younger, I'd go to shows and like I'd have to be all the way in the back so I could see. That was pretty cool. When you want to be all the um, way at the front. Aside from that, you just generally feel small. You know, like if you're like stand next to a tall guy, you're like, this guy could fucking kill me right now. <laughs> so you just feel weak not weak well a oh. little weak i i feel uh, vertically weak like i feel like if something were to attack me from above but mentally strong yes exactly so you have like a lot of ladders in the house or footstools why why would i need a ladder well to like to get stuff that normal height people can <laughs> you mean normal height people? i live in an apartment <laughs> it's made with him in how, how how short do you think five six is I'm just imagining like the Oompa Loompas 
from Willy Wonka. Okay, so like sub four feet. That's what you're imagining. I mean, not really. I'm just like just going for comedy on a podcast. I don't know what you wanted to say. <laughs> Liza, well, are you fucking as well. stupid, you piece of shit? Hey, Alexa, how tall is... A, a, I don't have an Alexa. I was just speaking to You're just going to activate the Alexa yeah. of everyone in the audience. By yeah. So Michael had something to say. Right. Mike, please go on. Oh, me? Yes, you. Did you? Couldn't be. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. I was, then who I was, stole the I was, cookie from the cookie jar? I was just talking for... Comedy on a podcast. Yeah. Oh on, yeah. Go on. I was just gonna I make fun of us doing a podcast. Are we so are we this, live right now? Are we recording? Yeah. Kudos. Go ahead. You you said you wanted to throw some shots my way. I just yeah. noticed, uh, you know, from a few people, uh, I, I believe yourself included, but I can't think of any specific examples. So just take this at at uh, just believe me blindly. So you're just making this up entirely. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've noticed that tall people seem to get madder when you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you call them short, than short people do when you call them short. If oh, you, you can call me you whatever purpose- you want. I don't, if you, oh, I don't if care. You, no, but like if I'm you not- purposefully get a tall guy's height wrong as a joke, he's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm definitely 6'1". Whereas I could say to Dobrik, say you're 4'8", yeah. and you'd be like, yeah. <laughs> no, because like, no, like, I'm, I'm in that like 6 to 6. It's Okay, so here's the thing about being between like 5'11 to 6'1". Is Here's it's what it's like, like being like a total Chad who just gets tons of pussy all the time. It's I, I guys, said nothing. I hard, said nothing. <laughs> so, it's hard. No, no, no. Let me, I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, temper my, my, my cause shut the fuck up, Kudos. All right. So <laughs> So do you like buy long pants or is it just like normal pants? You do have to buy longer pants the taller you are. That do you is have true. letters in your apartment last so you can get why? stuff on Kudos, why are you yeah. saying this as if you're do like you, not almost the exact same letters. height as I am? <laughs> So that's, Here, hold on. Is it hard? Is it like hard to walk around like wading <laughs> through all the pussy that's thrown at you? Yeah, it's um, it's and also smelly. you're so tall, like you probably lose balance sometimes because your brain's not meant to be that far from the ground. Yeah, I'm just like, whoops! <laughs> right. I did fall down a lot today. <laughs> right into a pussy. Really weak jokes aside, let's. Uh, it's the thing about being in that height uh, range is it's jokes. not. It's not okay. Just. Dial the extra down for a second here. I, there's there's actually a point to be made here. When you're like six foot, six foot one, it's tall, but it's not tall enough where it's like you feel cool. I feel like if mm. you were six foot five, you'd be like, yeah, I'm fucking tall. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, sure. so it's like I don't take offense. If, like if someone were, were to mishight me, like, did you just um, <laughs> assume my, my height? height. Yeah, I, I wouldn't care. But I feel like if I was like a seven foot. It's all, it's all like Shaxter or something. Yeah, I might get a little bit insecure about it. <laughs> the Shaxter. Right. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. No, so what's the perfect shit. height? What's the perfect ideal height for all of you? Just everyone name your perfect height. Go. Uh, like in uh, a girl? No, in a man. <laughs> I'm not into I'm, dudes. You just mean in general? No. Oh. If you could pick up, if you could pick a fucking height from a book and be like, boom, I'll be this height forever. Well, healthy, that's just, that's healthy just a bunch height. of numbers. As, as, uh, healthy uh, height. Healthy five six. Yeah. No, I want the healthiest so height. Everyone's going to be five six. Yeah. Everyone's going to be five six. Exactly. Yeah. The healthy height. Level the playing field. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd say I'd say five ten. I want all men to be five six. I don't want all women to be seven two. And we ride around oh, wow. on their shoulders. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to put something out there. I, I think that tall chicks are hot. Like I think, I think that's a good. Ooh, you know, yeah. like can I hot take here? I think all women are beautiful in their own way. Yeah, <laughs> God, sh- wow. it's kudos. Do you ever think about <laughs> so that? Brave. Lies? Such a brave, stunning, take. Yeah. just stunning. <laughs> no, 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 like okay, so like except you, for yeah, imagine there was like there was like a girl who was hot, right? And then right. Okay. also imagine it was like the same girl who was hot, but also she was tall. Okay, I'd like okay. I don't know, I'd, I'd go for the tall one. Uh, how? How old? I'd ask. I'd see. I'd see what's inside. You know. I'd see what. What like. What's her soul. Uh, same. Like yeah. I'd. I'd yeah. get to know them first. You so get much inside her. Che- yeah. I'd also check inside. <laughs> and make sure there's no cobwebs or like uh, rats or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lars is famously shallow. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking shallow. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> For such a tall yeah. guy, he's very shallow. Yeah. Yeah. He looks down on on us. Hey, can I go back to something we were talking about earlier? Uh, you mentioned uh, uh, Trevor that you worked with Mike. The uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. at Slimy Swamp Ghost on Twitter, amazing, amazing artist who I, I cannot look at uh, any time after about 10 p.m. Otherwise, I won't sleep. Uh, my favorite thing to do is when people <laughs> send me photographs, like, like, oh, just chilling out on my back porch. Here's a beautiful picture of the view or something. I'll take one of his monsters and Photoshop it 
like <laughs> really fucking small <laughs> in the shadows of like a tree. And I'll be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's just sends <laughs> it back to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good that's so fun wow that's actually brilliant his shit's yeah. amazing man. I, love, I love his work yeah yeah his shit's great he's a, he's a good boy mm. how did you go about so uh yeah yeah so like what you know you worked with him uh in in this latest music video that you did how do you how did you go about sorting that out like from the start did you know what you wanted or did the artist come to you with that in mind, and you're like, I know the guy, or yeah, how how does that? Oh, no, how does that happen, man? Yeah, well, <laughs> the artist was my brother at this point. Okay, like, for the, the video. Oh, and, obviously, um, I didn't do my research, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and basically, yeah, I mean, I, I I came up with the idea, and then I was like, I kind of was based off of Trevor's work, honestly. Mm. I've I've been such a fan of like that whole like, you know, ominous creature in the dark on a VHS. Uh, yeah. aesthetic um that i kind of wanted to do a video but with a twist yeah um casey fry's about and, the biggest twist you could bring in yeah he's a twist i didn't even know man. i didn't even know that was casey fry until i saw the behind the scenes yeah man i like uh i like shaking things up you know and so i i, I can somehow convince like my first choices for this video to be a part of it mm. uh and it was fun man uh yeah yeah trevor was a blast to work with we like went back and forth at first, uh, all the designs he gave me were, like, way too scary. <laughs> sure. And so, like, we had to work on kind of, like, uh, you know, making it to where it's, like, spooky, but not, like, hard to look at. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you don't want a three-minute video that you have to, like, shield with your eyes. I kind of would, Ugh. to be honest. I feel like that would actually be, you should have, like, a, like a, a Snyder cut, so to speak, where it's just, like, <laughs> The most disgusting fucking creature dance. <laughs> you should like, also you do a like cut which is just yeah. Casey Frey with no mocap. <laughs> yeah. Completely naked. Just dancing naked just in the street. Naked. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That'd be great. Okay, sh- um, should I um since Stoplex and Kudos asked their their obligatory serious question, I, I have some stuff I can get into if you if you guys want. Is it the the female race crispy elf? We're gonna talk no. about that now. I, 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 I'm, I'm cool if we don't even talk about that, but let's, um, <laughs> so Mike, a, a common question on the podcast this year in particular, where do you get off? Has been, how do you sleep at night? Anyway, let, let, letting the guys get their yucks out for a second. Um, <laughs> yeah, good yucks guys. Yeah. Come on. Really had, this is a you. podcast. So, okay. Can yeah. you hear professional? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't oh. had a yuck deep oh. in me. So oh. my... <laughs> Okay, so the other duplex is done coming. You know what? Shut the fuck thank up. You. Right, oh, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my, my question is, to what extent has the current pandemic situation affected your work, and how have you adjusted to, a, in some ways, very different, in some ways, very same industry of content creation? That was not a funny question at all. Yeah, what the I fuck? I didn't was? say it was I funny. I teed that up like, Yo, okay, we're in too many serious ones. Let's get into said, a hypothetical. <laughs> yeah, you said, here comes a couple of yucks and a half. Yeah. And uh, get ready to you hold on to your butt. No, I said um, no. I said I was letting my co-host get the yucks out before I actually asked it. Because they were... I oh, specifically remember oh. you saying this joke. This is going to be a hilarious question. No, you misheard, yeah. buddy. Uh, okay. you, mi- you misheard. Well, this is going to be the funniest question you will ever hear. <laughs> you, okay. you can you clarify preface it which... with our serious questions. <laughs> you guys are going to listen back in the recording. You guys are going to sound like such idiots, such fools. <laughs> no, you straight up oh, said, no. here is the greatest fucking yuck you'll ever hear. No. And then proceeded to say the <laughs> most like, boring Mike, shit. I hope you're sitting down because you're about that. to laugh your ass off. <laughs> I, I remember that and I held on to my seat real nice and hard because I was ready to, to die to laughing. Shoot yeah. And he hit me with a... <laughs> With a pandemic question? And Lars also, said like through his smile, you want to laugh? <laughs> also, what are you going to be Yeah. 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 Where are you? You're talking about the comment. Oh, he's left. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, this is a part of the podcast where we bully Lars into quitting. <laughs> Wait, Lars actually left? I know. Yeah, he's, no, back, he's gone. He oh, I'm back. Oh. Okay. Hey, so, hey, anyway, uh, what's your favorite hey, part about the pandemic? I think was the question. <laughs> no, <laughs> really Some not. Some dumb, fucking, not funny question at all. But no, just kidding. It was actually a good question. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, no. Not um, funny, but good. That is a, yeah, it's a good question. Um, it's uh, well, first off, like I don't even, I haven't, I don't know if like anybody watching this knows who the the fuck I even am. 
uh, I do video stuff on the internet. Oh, um, you required and, no introduction, my friend. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I feel no. like you're underselling it. Video stuff is a yeah. big time understatement. Well, you ever seen JPEGs? You ever seen a bunch of JPEGs <laughs> move real fast? They move. <laughs> well, Mike, here, how about this? Can, can you preface this, by the way, with like the elevator pitch for what you do? Put elevator music behind this. Yeah, I started on YouTube doing a bunch of stuff. Like Sexy Sax Man was like my first like big viral thing. It was like a uh, prank with the saxophone man running around that I made this video called you, uh, Cause You Could Trap Ray Banks. classic. Yeah, the, the, sure. And I, I was doing a bunch of YouTube stuff back then. And then I came back with this uh, uh, Kazoo Kid Trap Remix that other classic. somehow also, also blew up somehow. And then, uh, you know, a bunch of other goofy youtube videos like uh donald japanese donald trump commercial a bunch of other random kind of more vfx heavy stuff um depth step guns la 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 and then i also do uh music videos and commercials and i did a netflix special with the lonely island guys and uh little nas x videos blah 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 yeah so i mean you know internet video mm -hmm. stuff. just a real quick yeah. introduction er, interjection though i i give credit where it's due it's very difficult to make me laugh on the internet because I've been on it for so long, just like everyone else. Because I'm tough. so funny myself. For example, <laughs> here's my pandemic question. Tall. I was going to pay him a compliment and you guys ruined it. <laughs> I'm just so tall and handsome and funny, but... Uh, <laughs> no, it's true. I'm to laugh with all the pussy I get. <laughs> get out of here, pussy. I'm trying to record a podcast. You guys are just stating facts. I don't, I don't understand. How is this... It's just true. I mean, what? what <laughs> butter me up if you want, but no. So, I, I feel like most people's sense of humor has been really desensitized by the internet, right? And then, yeah. So I just mm, want to like give fair. credit where it's due when I actually laugh out loud. In that Trump video, when it gets to the part where it's like suddenly cuts to, like the Nazi salute, that oh, yeah. really <laughs> made me laugh out loud. And I really want to give you credit for that because that's one of those rare <laughs> moments where it's just like. Wow, just that was you. the funniest thing I've seen in months. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh, when when somebody can make Nazi shit be funny, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I appreciate that that you that that was the moment that 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 you appreciated. No, yeah. um, uh, yeah, I uh, that's Mike's elevator pitch. And then the podcast got a little too saucy, and we had to take a bunch of this out. Edit that out, please. Right, yeah, I'm gonna edit that out. Right, no, sure. Edit that in three more times so that it echoes. <laughs> no, don't worry, I'll I'll cut that. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, um, I have a big fucking mouth. That's the thing about me. Yeah. Um, so no. Uh, <laughs> well, you are on a podcast. Um, and this is live. <laughs> this is live. This is live. Uh, no, 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 no. But uh, what's funny to me is that that actually like ended up on the news. Yeah. And uh, be like calling Donald Trump a fucking Nazi, um, which at the time was like also the whole video was way funnier. Uh, because I had no idea he would win. I thought that <laughs> yeah. there was no fucking, right. fucking that's way how that this felt. guy was going to win. Yeah, and then he won, and now when I watch that video, it's just, like, disturbing and fucked up. And, mm -hmm. It's yeah, like, did actual, I have a like, part a real... in this? Right, <laughs> and there's, like, an actual, like, problem with actual neo-Nazi pieces of shit, and, like, it's actually, like, not a joke anymore, and now it's just spooky. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because you do almost well, wonder say, if, like, life people... imitates art. Oh, so you go, don't pick some sure what you were going to say was really good. Oh, that was it. Life imitates art. <laughs> okay. Because um, <laughs> oh, I almost feel like people, uh, you know, some of the uh, members of the alt-right could even, like, see your video as, like, unironic or try and reclaim oh, it did. to a degree. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have some them? did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, wow. There was, like, this, like, fascist wave movement that was, like, a uh, play off of the, you know, vaporwave, rusher wave yeah. movement of the 2018s. Mm. And, like, or no, eh, like 2016. And um, basically used my Nazi salute Trump image as like an album cover. Oh, wow. Oh. And it was really uh, icky feeling. Let's just say that. It was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, this is where it's, but this is what it's become. That's fucking horrifying, actually. Uh, yeah, it's real dark. Well, yeah, fuck, fuck Nazis. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that kind of happens with like a lot of things. Like, I feel like you shouldn't even like, yeah, it's like it feels weird, especially if you're the one that created it, you know, just be like, oh, you're using this. But like, oh, yeah, if you think like, you know, like Pepe the Frog, didn't that become oh, yeah. like a mm. what was it? Look, 
on a long enough timeline, everything becomes toxic. Yeah. You know, you can't make a cartoon frog without it being a fucking alt-right symbol. <laughs> exactly. You, you had a, a recent sort of thing, uh, similarly, sorry, a similar thing oh, with, recently. <laughs> with QAnon? <laughs> well, not even that. The Oh, yeah, that was it, right? The, the adult QAnon swim, thing? your pre-birth video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I get in trouble a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but at, I, I felt I feel for you because I feel like I'm in a similar position where I'd want no one to ever take anything I do seriously, uh, and thankfully not most people don't. But even then, someone like looks into something too much, and you're like, "This is <laughs> no one should take any yeah. of this seriously." So how well, do that you, is? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How, how does that feel like when people suddenly came after you as though you were some secret Illuminati guy uh, <laughs> endorsing baby drumming? Oh, it's really funny. Yeah. It's really funny at first. And then uh, just for context, for I'm sure the 90% of people that don't know, uh, I I made this video uh, with like triangle headed aliens playing babies as drums. Yes. And it was, uh, they're being slammed around and it was for Adult Swim and uh, they're, they're, they're laughing and having a great time. Uh, uh, but it got picked up by QAnon and a whole Karen conspiracy theory thing. And they all came down on me very hard. Uh, and I got a lot of death threats, and I got called a uh, pedovore, which means I eat babies. What the fuck? And uh, I'm part of the uh, part of the Illuminati, and they're gonna come to my house and they're gonna get me. Is what people told me, dude. What the hell? I I remember I remember when you when you put that out. That was really cool. And I remember <laughs> I, thank you because I, I mean, there's an obvious like artistic angle to it. Like it's not. I feel like if if you have at least a few wrinkles in your brain, you could see it's just like a cool art piece it's a goof yeah it's, it's a goof yeah. it's, it's not like anything it's an art goof yeah an artsy <laughs> goof but like i i didn't know that there was this much tied to it that's fucking insane oh people got real mad and like bombed like all of my videos and all my instagram for a while just like calling me like garbage and i'm fucking part of the hollywood pedophore conspiracy Jesus. and the illuminati and and you know uh i put a lot of like uh, a little naughty symbolism and shit in my stuff just for fun. Right. Yeah, um, just for fun. It's like, <laughs> yeah, just for goofs, you know? Yeah. It's like funny because like people in the comments are like, oh, the triangle. <laughs> no, yeah. It, it, was a, it, was a, it was a goof. And um, and now I'm kind of over it. <laughs> like, yeah. You get, you get so many people being like, yo, I'm going to come to your house. And then you Google yeah, your that's... house. And you're like, yo, you can find out where I live in like two seconds. Trying to be. (laughs) Sorry, I'm just a bit shitty. It's kind of weird. Something so funny about the idea of like, now you just answer. (laughs) Um, Well, oh, looks like his internet just went down. uh, Oh. Okay. Wait, mine? No, kudos. Our boy, kudos. Yeah. He's gone. My internet has been going down a lot too. And then, and then Duplex couldn't even connect to Discord earlier. Today is just like a cursed day. For recording, yeah. I guess, but it seems to be working now. I think so. Uh, so, should we talk about uh, the fourth Rice Krispie Elf? No, nah, man. I still had an actual question. The oh, okay, yeah, fucking go answer. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You fucking easily did. <laughs> By all means, continue. Please. So the question was about like adjustments. Is it going to be the... funny? Is it going to be funny? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you guys are so mean to Lars. Lars, go ahead. Lars sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> He knows the question. No, now he's not talking. You heard. <laughs> he knows story. the question. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh right, 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 right. Um, how's how's the pandemic oh, actually like affected oh, work wise and stuff like that? Well, for the first, um, it uh, you know, I, I it, it affected me more life wise. Uh, I would say because like I, I just started dating somebody that was a good friend, and uh, you know, we got like, uh, you know, mashed together in a in a one house Ooh, for uh... way too soon and way too much time, and. You know, we just, it just like, it broke us up. And that, that was weird. But like, at the same time, it also like made us realize that like, eh, we actually were better friends than, right. Friends. So that's actually, we're still like homies now. And it's great. Oh, that's good. Um, so yeah, that's like, that worked out. And then that for that first like four months, I mean, everything was like so fucked up. And then there was the whole BLM thing, which was like super, everything just like weighed on you yeah. so much. Right. And so like, I felt so. Mm. uncreative and like i couldn't do fucking anything and like i just played i don't play video games much i usually like am way more proactive and i like to like make shit rather right. than absorb uh and i played like all of doom and all of last of us too and i don't regret a fucking second because those games are fucking great True. uh that was 
That mm. was an amazing experience. Oh, and um, Sayonara Wild Hearts, which was like my all time favorite game of the year. If you guys haven't played Sayonara Wild Hearts, check that shit out. I've heard um, of it. I've never played it, but I've heard. And oh, it's fucking incredible. If you guys like the movie Scott Pilgrim, Ooh. it's like being in Scott oh. Pilgrim. It's like being inside that movie okay. in like the best way. That should sell you enough. Just play that the whole game. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's excellent. Um, and very slept on, which is surprising to me. Uh, but if you like my aesthetic and shit, I feel like you guys would dig it. Say no more. Um, maybe. Yeah, it's fucking. Sick. Maybe now that it's on the podcast, it'll start to take off. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Um. Anyways, Ooh, yeah. you know, not to, like you know. Then there was like everything's every. There was like those people that were like, oh, like I, you know, now you have all the time in the world. The world paused, and you have all the time to be creative and do your own thing. And I, I tried, you know, and that was like so unrealistic because like I was like fuck dude i'm too like depressed about the state of the world to have any sort of inspiration yeah. to make like some dumb fucking youtube video you know what i mean like it was like really hard um thousand percent yeah and and so you know i mean like that was like the first whatever six months uh and everyone was just like trying to survive i had like a big quibi show i had a fucking quibi show with uh, Andy Samberg that I uh, was supposed to direct and we uh, started the first part of the uh, pandemic writing all the uh, episodes for that. Um, and then you all know what happened to Quibi. Uh, rest R. in R. peace. R.I.P. a real one. Um, and, and then I had like another big job that got like canceled and so like I was just kind of like fucked money wise, you know? Uh, so that was really scary. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean like eventually this the things that I, you know, the main thing that, like, I was really excited about that I just started, like, trying to figure out at the beginning of the year was the um, Cyberpunk 2077 music video for Run the Jewels, which is, like, my favorite rappers and my favorite subject matter, Amazing which is video, Cyberpunk. I fucking... Thanks so, so much! Um, I... Yeah, thanks, man. Um, I, I... Dude, I fucking love Cyberpunk shit, obviously. And, like, you know, after I did the little Nas video for Panini, uh, like, we hollered at CD Projekt Red, and we were like, yo, we do cyberpunk stuff. You guys are making, like, a cyberpunk game. <laughs> What's up, dude? Um, and there was, like, a courting process, and we courted them. And um, basically, la, 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 blah, blah, blah. Like, that was, like, after the first, like, four months of the pandemic, that ended up being, like, a real thing. And... Then work started picking up again, and I'm lucky, it was super lucky in that sense. Like, we had to, it did fuck us with that music video, because like, we had to, like, fly to Atlanta to shoot it, because, like, you know, the, the rappers didn't um, feel comfortable flying out, right. you know, flying to L.A., because, like, L.A. was, like, blowing up and really, like, you know, mm. there's a lot of, the yeah. you know, it was bad. Um, so, you know, it was, like, uh, all sorts of pain in the ass shit. That music video was r really, really, really hard to do. And, like, one of the, truly one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Uh, there was, like, three different versions of it. And, like, it, you know, it it took nine months. You know, or, like, about, no, nah, it was, like, eight months from concept, from, like, pitching it to them, mm. to, like, finishing it. It's and um, it's an amazing music video, though, if you, them and me are uh, sucking dude, you off for a whole so second. I, yeah. I just finished Cyberpunk, I, and I really it's been just it. so in my thoughts nonstop. So getting to watch that video again now with the context of having played oh, the game, cool. there's so much like I don't know, just you get it, all the all the little yeah. bits, like yeah, all the characters yeah. and shit. It's yeah, like yeah. a three minute like Dude, nostalgia yeah. trip for something I played a week ago, but no, oh, I, neat. I love it. That's really cool. I've never heard that um I've never heard that like perspective mm. of somebody's watching it like after the game. That's really cool to hear. Um because yeah, I mean I'm sure for somebody who like isn't super involved in the game like you know it came out at a time where like nobody knew that much about it i guess mm. um well the the average person and um you know that was like a really interesting like challenge to like cd project red basically gave me all the art and all the you know everything i would need and basically we were like yo like you can do whatever original art you want but like it can't look like anything from the game it can't it can't be misconstrued as like a shot from the game sure uh and so it's got to be using uh weapons people objects cars blah, 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 from the game to make new art that is uh deconstructed enough to where it can't be misconstrued as being like an actual you know it's shot. it's funny you say that because um, i was gonna ask because uh like to kudos point it does feel very like it, it feels very consistent with like it, it could exist in the cyberpunk universe 
because uh, I haven't finished the game, but I, I'm pretty far into it. But it, like watching that video, I see what you mean. Where it just it just feels like uh, if the universe was real and this was a music video that was happening inside of that, dude. That's yeah. exactly what my pitch was to CD oh, Projekt Red. That's so cool. Yeah, that's like literally what my pitch was. Like, if you were in the world of Night City, I, w- I wouldn't be surprised if they patch it in as like some that's on the yeah. TV. You know, there's a lot of TV screens in the game with fake news out and you know, ads yeah. and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe in a future DLC they they have it on like a screen playing somewhere. Dude, I yeah, that would be fucking amazing. I mean, CD Projekt Red um, was really. Uh, like happy with it and that made me super stoked um because it was yeah it was it was it was it was a rough rough project mm. um you know a lot of uh a lot of sleepless nights sleeping in my office well paid um, off but uh thanks man and 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 yeah so like it was a, the big challenge was like fuck like how do i make this like my love letter to cyberpunk and but like at the same time deconstructing everything to be like original kind of art in mm. this world Right. That feels like a music video that one would see in the world of Night City. Yeah. Um, Plus, blah, work blah, blah, with Run the blah. Jewels. Yeah. Right. And those guys are like the fucking coolest, right? Yeah. And like, I don't know if you guys are like RTJ fans, yeah. but like, yeah, no, you know, like fucking too. Killer Mike and shit. I had a friend that was like, yo, like, before I left Atlanta, I was like, are you going to talk to Killer Mike about like politics and shit? And I was like, fuck no. Like, I'm not fucking <laughs> smart enough to talk about <laughs> politics with Killer Mike. Are you kidding me? I'm like, oh, like, Trump is bad, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> you want to see my cool pro Trump music video I made four years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like, yeah, you know, those guys are so fucking cool, and it was like such a treat to. I had actually like, what's crazy is, uh, I'm sorry to ramble here, but like, I um after like I tweeted at Run the Jewels uh way before the Cyberpunk thing was even a thing, and I was like, yo, like, I will chop my dick off to do a video for you guys. Mm. Um, I thought you were sounding a few octaves higher. And they mailed you some some yeah, uh, I, <laughs> some fucking shears. Send it back, and we'll set it. Yeah, date. and they're like, "Go ahead, bitch, <laughs> fucking do it, bro." Uh, no, and they actually like hit me back. And we're like, "Yeah, that's not necessary. Uh, <laughs> let's do something. Keep your genitalia, uh, and s- we'll, we'll find yeah. another form of payment." I mean, <laughs> yeah. right, right, right. I feel like all uh, Pat's considered at that point, like all the ways that they could have responded. Like, if I had seen that, I would have been like, this guy's a fucking weirdo. I'm, I'm never going to talk to them again. So it's like, <laughs> that's a pretty positive response that they're like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Let's try yeah, something. You know, <laughs> have the verified blue right, check bar. Right, yeah. You know, they know that oh, I'm uh, yeah, on the level. <laughs> yeah, first I'm Lars on the high. level. <laughs> now Mike and his cheeks. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm one of it. I'm right, one of them. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> one of dim ones. <laughs> You're part of the bourgeoisie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The elite, so to speak. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not a plebe like you guys, but like, right, no, right. no, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, yeah, the fact that he wasn't like, no, that is kind of mind blowing. The fact that he wasn't like, wait, like, what the fuck? I, I'm a person who like regrets like 90% of the shit that he tweets or, or says online, like, mm. especially like a year later, you right. know? So it's definitely one of those tweets. I was like, "Damn, I really just like said that to like my favorite rappers, hoping they'd give me a chance <laughs> to do a music video for them." <laughs> Uh, and it worked. Uh, so I highly so recommend that's why you each and never every one of you. Anything. Yeah, yeah, each and every one of you who wants to work with somebody, just threaten to chop your stupid <laughs> dick off, and uh, <laughs> you know it'll work out. I in the swear end. to God, it works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it at a job. That's interview. how we got you on the. That's how we got you on the podcast. Actually, last right. added you. I, I didn't want you guys to do it, so I came on. And I was like, "Keep your dicks. It's all Yo, good. I'm here." We have like a a, th- a three way triangle pack that we we're gonna like sit in an <laughs> office together and just DIY circumcisions. <laughs> the circular we saw. Went to the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. sequel of the Pain Olympics would have made a good YouTube video. A good thumbnail. Yeah. Yo, that shit would have went viral. <laughs> Cutting my dick off to get Mike Deaver on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and then like a big red arrow going to going to a circle yeah. whistle. Censored blood. Decapitation. <laughs> yeah, Doflex with a big O face. <laughs> you can't believe, you can't believe how many dicks were cut off to get Mike Diva on this podcast. <laughs> and the answer is zero, but still. <laughs> yeah. You won't you won't believe which body part we had to cut off. And a, just mouth agape next to a fucking uh, ice chest. <laughs> oh, and then the picture of Lars, like, standing up with, like, an arrow going to his dick and a big question mark. <laughs> see, do, see, Mike, is this it? is the content you need to be making for YouTube. Oh? 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 My dick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyway. Do we have somebody new on here? 
Uh, uh, I heard yeah, somebody Miles. else. No, what? I heard somebody else go. Ugh. Oh, I did that. I'm not new. I've been here the whole time. You have. Oh, all right. Can we get one good healthy uh, from everyone at the same time? Uh, three, two, one. Uh, 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 all right, that's the rest of the podcast. Is <laughs> yeah. just us doing that for <laughs> yeah. however long. Can you give us a good my name is Jeff? Uh, my name. <laughs> you really want me to do it? Yeah. Why not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I definitely want it. <laughs> I don't know if I can, guys. I don't know if I'd do it justice. Let's let's Come not. On. Just one. Just one. My name Jeff. <laughs> okay, I did it. I that tried. Good. Wasn't I tried that, that was bad. That was that was pretty you know, good. That's pretty good. Thanks. Oh, can Thank we do you. uh My wife? My wife. <laughs> Any other uh, wife. pop culture wife. references we'd like to yeah. topical? <laughs> Uh, yeah, baby. Uh, uh, oh, no, Kevin. <laughs> Stagadelic. Uh, 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 somebody oh. stop me. Uh, smoking. A couple, couple uh, things to go over. I'll okay. stop you right there. Yeah, before we before <laughs> we close up shop, I have two things I want to get to. Okay. That's really it. Like, we just talked about, like, truly nothing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, I, I have a serious yeah. question. Yeah, please. Just well, hit well, me shut with the all fuck the up questions. for a second, Delplex. I, I, have, I have stuff I've been really wanting to cram in here, right. but uh, we're running out of time. Okay, so... Number one, I, I came up with, not that I came up with it, but like I, I've kind of cataloged three words that are a combination of two different words that I think are the worst combinations in the world. Okay. Okay. And I want you guys to kind of vote on them, like which one is the worst. Okay. 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 So the, the three word combinations are California, Swag Donalds, and Wubba Lubba Zinga. <laughs> okay. Ooh. And and wait, what is what is the question? Yeah, what the question wait, is what to do with these? Which one of these do you hate the worst? Oh. Wobble of Zynga by far. Yeah, okay. Wobble of Zynga. <laughs> probably that's California. California? Yeah, that that's got California some. I, th- I think I just said California. Oh, no, yeah, California. Uh, in, that case, in that case, Swag Donalds. <laughs> <laughs> California so, sounds like a bumper sticker. Yeah, I'm from California. <laughs> I think I actually <laughs> saw that on a bumper <laughs> sticker once. I think that's where that came from. <laughs> Because you guys are all in California, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah. bro. Cowabunga. Cowabunga. Yeah. Surfing reference. In theory, all of you guys could be recording this in person. I don't know how big California is. I'm assuming it's quite small. Yeah, so Ella. I don't know. I feel like there's something about Wubba Lubba Zinga that just like makes me want to have a stroke. Yeah. Like, it's mm. just, yeah. That one definitely three. did make my, my skin Since cool the most, it. but yeah. I just wanted to be different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that it or do you have more? Well, that's really just some nice, just a little quick one. Oh. You're already dying to get that out. Doplex, I feel like Doplex has had, wanted to talk for a second here. Yeah, I, I do have a very, uh, very pressing question. Um, just letting you know, we are running short on time, by the way. Doplex, it's a but, quick question. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, so, wait, wait. Do we actually have like a fucking cutoff? So, actually, we did make a, an executive decision last week that from now on, what we're going to do is if we get to an hour and a half, we're going to do a hard cutoff. If if we want to keep going, that's fine, but it's going to be Patreon bonus content at that point. Oh, feel free to subscribe to the we first got, podcast got, Patreon over at www.patreon.com slash uh, Keemstar. Do we both say Keemstar? Ah, joke. <laughs> beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Oh, wow. So it comes that's from synergy. Circle. So we have a good 18 minutes left. Go. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Go on, Mr. That's, that's more than enough time. Thank you, Mike Diva. All right. So, as a mathematician, I do have to ask, how, has, has your Star Wars plus Brisk plus Xbox equals success equation helped science advance oh, wow. any closer to complete immunity to death? Uh, I feel like I have evolved beyond uh, sleep and, and waking up and uh, honestly all human desire. So, like, I, I think that I have uh, fully accomplished the Star Wars Brisk. Uh, this is such a deep cut. Duplex. This is like the, the deepest cut you could have possibly busted out. This is some Nardwar level ass shit right now. I, I wanted you to hear the curveball. I wanted to I wanted to yeah. really dig into the the the, the wow. annals of your brain to really Dude, pull, I was pull this one out. So annals. drunk in that video, and I don't know if you can tell, but I was incredibly drunk when I did that entire thing, and uh, I, I did this Star Wars brisk crossover. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, brand deal, uh, and it was very dumb. It was and- honestly, it's a relic of its time because, like, watching it, it's very, uh, very 2010s. It's very, very good. Yeah, 
And the thing is, it was probably in like 2014 or 15. So it's like I was a little. It was very. Uh, yeah. It yeah. was. It was. It was vintage. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It was. It was actually the best brand deal I've ever done. Oh. <laughs> it was very dumb. <laughs> I managed to talk shit about episodes one through three in a Star Wars branded thing. So like that was kind of that was fun for me. Right. Right. I'm a little edgy, guys. Okay. <laughs> He's a I'm little not your different. typical. I'm not your father's influencer. Okay? He's not like other girls. <laughs> this isn't your mom's YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. We got 15 minutes on the hour. Let's go. Uh, what else we got? Uh, any other uh, okay. crazy things to talk about? Lars is going to bring up a weird fucking Lars. I know it's going to be like, what's it's your good. favorite type of Applejack? It's gonna be a zinger. I have, really I have an funny. actual, I have an actual question it. that might be something. Unless Lars just wants to ask let's us hear, what three. Hear, yeah. Do you have three more words you want to ask? us? All right. So kudos is muted, so I can get my my point out. So. <laughs> <laughs> you just wow. Just wow. You just okay. Wow, Damn. Lars. Lars is gonna be good. Okay. I do have an actual question. All right, everyone, okay. shut the fuck up. Let Lars. Say, this is gonna be a great question. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So I'd like to bring back Lars's purchase corner. Oh god. No. This isn't a question. Ugh. Of course it's not a question. Hey Mike, do you want to hear what shit Lars has bought lately? Or can we actually No, ask the I really actually questions? don't. I, what's up, Kudos? What's up? <laughs> hey, here's a I uh, you know, as a as a fellow content creator, I bet you can uh, relate to this one. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I went ahead and muted him anyway. So let's talk about what I bought this week. <laughs> okay. So I went ahead and picked up Ubisoft Connect. Are you guys familiar with what this is? No, what no. is that? Okay, Ubisoft Connect <laughs> is the newest version of Uplay Plus, which means that for a small amount of money, you can play anything that Ubisoft has released in the last, like, three decades. Oh. And I went ahead and picked up two games, and I wanted to t touch on and them they're briefly. they're both the same. Yeah. They're very similar. So the first one I got was Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Have you guys been keeping up with this game? Nope. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I started really it. Interesting. That's it. I, yeah, I, I'm like 68 hours in. It's pretty rough. I can't tell you how much I don't give a fuck about the entire Assassin's Creed universe. Yeah, no one yeah. cares, Mike. So, so no, kudos. Neither do, neither do I. It's just like a <laughs> guilty pleasure. I, do, I honestly yeah. just like how the movement in the games feel. I just like me how to climb stuff. It does. But I just came off of Odyssey, and I feel like it's kind of a downgrade from that. Anyway, Mike, I've got a question yeah, for anyway. you. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute Mike and Kudos, so I can finally get to my point. Oh, I no. actually, I actually picked up uh, Immortals: Phoenix Rising, which is another game, which is <laughs> kind of like in the same vein, but it, it it's it's got like this cartoony <laughs> aesthetic, it. and it's um it's like Assassin's Creed meets Breath of the Wild, and I've been having a lot of fun with that. It's um, have you guys heard of this game? It. Uh, I've I've heard of it. Yes, I haven't I haven't played it. They've been pretty it, aggressive with their ad campaign on this, and I don't know. Like it's it's nice because it's got some of the stupid mechanics of of stamina from Zelda Breath of the Wild, where it's like if you climb or if you fly and stuff, like it uh, it takes away from your but but your weapons don't break, and that was like the main stupid thing in Breath of the Wild is that like every seventeen strokes your sword just disappeared. And it solves that, and it makes it such a better game. Where, like, not everything's breaking on you all the time. You know what else disappears as after 17 strokes? My erection. <laughs> anyway, Mortals Phoenix Rising, I recommend you guys picking it up on uh, Ubisoft Connect. Not paid to say it, just, uh, just toss them a few bucks to check it out. And that's going to do it for Lars's Purchase Corner. Kudos. This wasn't a bit, by the way, in the chat. Okay. I was it just definitely describing. Felt, it definitely felt like a bit. Why? I was just like attempting to talk about <laughs> something fun I'd done this week. Yeah. Well. <laughs> anyway, Mike. I, I think I think it's because we didn't do the jingle. I think we should have done the jingle. I don't even think okay. a jingle jingle would have saved that. I want that whole thing. <laughs> what, do you mean, what, what do you mean save that? I was just trying to have a Lars like, nice purchase little... corner. Kudos. Yeah. <laughs> Kudos. You got to finish Here's it. Here's a Come question. On. I'm Here's loving. a question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point got... out, by the way, that I feel like the three of us should feel free to, like, wax on about things that they like, and I don't think that that was, like, a bad thing to do. I think we should feel bad about that. 
<laughs> I feel like everyone was, was stressing about how much time was left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, well, 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 this better be a good question, Doplex. Well, anyway, here, let me talk about my thing for 10 minutes. <laughs> I love it, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's just um, not that deep, kudos. Just relax. Lars uh, Purchase Corner. What did he get this week? All right, someone serve a mute, Lars. Kudos, you're being such a dick. What the fuck, man? Just calm down. <laughs> what did everyone get this week? Wait, hold on. I'm the dick. You muted me and the guest. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did do that, Lars. You did do that. I'll just edit, I'll just edit out that I said that. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. By the way, this is all um, good fun. We're we're all buds. We we like to we like to jack each other off and pull each other's legs. We're, it's, we're it's all, a lot uh, of giggles and gaggles. It's um, part of part of. This is all one big bit. This isn't even real. None of this. We is have real. been recording. <laughs> all these people in the recording chat—they're all bots. Oh, Lars, man. can you edit out Doplex saying that the word, this is just good fun? I want people to like start going on like Twitter and being like, "Do they actually have a fight in the last episode?" And you know, like get, get some real conspiracy theories going. Oh, that reminds me. Back in the day, when like H three H three and iDubs would make collab videos, and they would make them very transparently mm. like adversarial and people would like go into the reddit comments being like i don't think they actually like each other i i feel like there's a lot of stress going on but it was really weird to watch like a lot of sexual tension there yeah john chon and uh john chon leaving game grumps i mean there's the conspiracy theories about that were fucking ridiculous yeah i I have a a question hold on we're having a nice conversation here duplex just let it happen just uh let let it flow that was that was was actually all i had to say but if you have something else to say then yeah i'm kind of curious Mike, I, I have a question you, for Mike. Can you relate to this <laughs> at all? Like, um, well, yeah, you were talking about how some people really misinterpreted your video as being like, a, like actually pro-Trump and like, oh, this guy's a Nazi and stuff. So you, you, you've actually talked about that a little bit on this episode so far. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that was something I was going to say before my internet died is I thought it was funny you said you were getting death threats from uh, your, your baby uh, drumming video when it's like, like they think you're evil. And because you're advocating for babies to be drummed, so they're like, now I'll tell him to kill himself. Like, that's <laughs> like, a, yeah. There's like a weird moral quandary there where it's like, he's evil, so therefore I should be evil too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. It's, well, they, they, I mean, to be fair, they do think that I'm eating and killing babies. So, mm. technically, which you are. Which, can we, yeah, which, which I am. Yeah. Also, how funny is uh, <laughs> just like models of, of humans? Uh, with with like no actual rigidity to the bones, <laughs> just like simulated being thrown around. Because I've seen you do that in a few of your videos, where you're like, you'll just let's just simulate <laughs> a 3D person who's just completely made of rubber, and we'll just oh, have yeah. them bounce around. Yeah, what was it? I think it was like funny. your mixer ad or something. Yeah, it's yeah, always funny. Answer. Soft body dynamics are always funny. You can't go wrong with that. What uh, um, what so what uh, programs are used for 3D? Um, I don't really, I mean, like, ugh, it depends. I mean, like, I you do a lot of After Effects stuff, and all my, like, any 3D that I do is all After Effects and Element and stuff, but, like, I, yeah, sure. anything more complicated is, uh, you know, depends on the job, really. You know, because, like, especially for, like, stuff like Devil May Cry, blah, 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 I don't really, like, do everything myself anymore. I have a whole, whole team, uh, or mm. whatever, so um yeah it's it just depends on the gig but um I, I work with this guy calvin serrano a lot and he uses blender um and the um for like cyberpunk it was a lot of uh a mix between cinema 40 and blender and yeah, sure. uh yeah you know 3d and special effects and you know blah 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 it's uh it's good I, stuff i i am a 3d artist by <laughs> trade so i was quite interested um but that's oh, cool. cool yeah blender's Blender's like massive these it's, days. I, yeah, it's fucking powerful, man. And I just tried to learn it myself. And it's free. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I, I like tried to take some pandemic time to learn it, and uh, it uh, it did not. And then you played The Last of Us Two instead. Yeah, yeah. And I've also like been doing a lot of dumb commercials, just like really silly, kind of bad commercials. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I did like a couple, like some for Meow Wolf, and uh, and for like some kids kids commercials for like a coding program and stuff it's you know it's um it's something i don't know if i i don't know if i really like good commercials i feel like bad commercials are the only good ones same Mm. i hate (laughs) commercials i like uh, you know 
like like just your generic, you know, you turn on the TV prime time. It's all just like it's like the safest of the safest of the safe. It's it's like ah. okay, what's the literal the first joke you can think of in regards oh, yeah. to this topic? And it's like that's what we're going for. It's the most surface level, no risks taken. Anything. It's like it's like the Elsa Gate stuff where they just throw in buzzwords like dab, whip, mm. nay, nay, buy uh fucking mm-hmm. Pepsi. Yeah. yeah. Except like so, I'm kind of like the edgy commercial guy at this point, though. Like Ooh. after like the, I don't know if you guys saw like the Halo Top thing, but like after that, like everyone kind of comes to me for like a little bit edgier, fucking. Uh, we want something a little crazy <laughs> well, on the well, internet. Well, quirky. So, but then like my you know, son's it, been telling me all about this YouTube thing. Right? No, no, no. For real, like it's actually like whack. Like old white dudes like trying to be edgy, and then like they realize yeah. when I when I actually pitch them like kind of like a little bit out there shit, they're like, oh well, I don't get that. I'm fifty, and then like you know it all gets watered down and shitty by the end of the project. So. Right. Awesome. Uh, yeah, but sometimes <laughs> it gets through. I feel like it, you can gain enough trust and just pitch them anything. Like, if, if they want to do, like, a commercial for uh, Red Bull, you'd be like, all right, we have this guy come out, he screams racial slurs, chugs a Red Bull, and walks off, and that, that sells the product. I mean, like, that would. That's that would. Thanks for the idea, bro. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, fucking, yes. <laughs> Watch I'm this the edgy commercial guy. Speaking, so. of, uh, oh. speaking of commercial consumption, something interesting is, like, I've, I've completely, like, ad-blocked fucking everything at this point, and, like, I don't really see ads anymore, but it's interesting. Like when I go hang out with my parents, they have not embraced that at all. And I see ads again for the first time. It's always really weird. Oh, like yeah. they uh, watch, they have Hulu with ads and stuff like that. And they'll watch YouTube on their it, TV with ads. And I'm like, Oh, uh, this is kind of, it's kind of gross. Well, I do that. Yeah. I don't know. Mm, it's, it's when you go on like a news website or something and it's just nothing, but oh, like it's dude. 90% of the screen space. Mm-hmm. It's awful. Those are so fucking annoying. But speaking of commercials, I do have the question that I've been trying to ask Mike. Hey. Hold on. I want to know more about Lars's purchases first. All right. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. All right. So if there, if there was a fourth Rice Krispie <laughs> elf, if there was a fourth Rice Krispie elf, what would her name be? Can we assume she's a woman? Me? Yeah. Hold on one second. <laughs> because. So. Okay. There we go. The cool thing about Immortals Phoenix Rising is that it's 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 really fun to stream because like the the, the listeners of the show can like do the puzzles alongside with you. I don't know, it's uh-huh, one of sure. those kind of games. I feel bad. I'm going to let the Dopex answer. You, go ahead, uh, Dopex. Like, sorry. It's sort of like uh brand uh hey. <laughs> hey. Hello. <laughs> the, the whole time I was muted, I was talking. Okay. Did you realize you were muted? No, I did. Okay. He's right. doing a bit for the podcast, guys. Delete this off yeah, the episode, podcast please. Comedy. Yeah. Come on. Let's start it over again. Uh, hey, Mike, Diva, go ahead and open up the podcast. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, back from the top. This is KeemstarPodcast.com. Oh. Uh. Can we get KeemstarPodcast.com? This is going to be a really uh, good, like, uh-huh. fake scream. I, I love that. I wish I wish we had more than three minutes. I really hope this is the worst episode of your guys' podcast yet. I am um, honestly I want to take that take that to the grave. Um okay, do Doplex, to answer your question. Yes. Uh Chauncey. Chauncey would be her name. So Snap Crackle Pop and Chauncey? Yeah. Isn't Chauncey okay. a, Isn't Chauncey a dude? It's Pop a and- dude's Ooh. name in uh nineteen twenty eight. It's twenty twenty yeah. now, and yeah. Chauncey's a girl's name. Thank you. Exactly. Right. All right. I, like I mean, you it. can Snap, name anyone, Crackle, anything, Pop, and Chauncey it doesn't matter. You can use uh, the name Many Kudos as a YouTube channel now. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Just take that. I don't want it. I want a better name. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Chauncey was the first thing that popped in my head. But uh, what was your Snap Crackle and Pop conversation before I jumped on here? I know that there was a long running debate. Yeah, I don't even oh. know what this is. Yeah, we were we were just talking about how. Uh, like if if they were to do like an a female elf for Rice Krispies, like just throw in a It'd fourth be one because snap, crap, uh, and pop and squirt and squ- <laughs> well, it has to it has to be based off the sounds it actually makes when you eat them. So ch- yeah, ch- it's like when, uh, <laughs> she she could be like the the mushy Chaunty. one at the end, like the the Rice Krispies at the bottom that are just like ninety percent milk. Oh, yeah. so it's just it's like, like a, a weird squelch. sloshy mush. Snap. It's like a sog. Up and pop. slog. Yeah. And slog. <laughs> and, and slog. A slog. 
<laughs> and she's just like a little deformed. fucked up and like soggy and like her skin is <laughs> melting. Yeah, she's, she's the like, like those bodies that they like pull out of yeah. a lake. Where yeah, they like, had a stroke. Right, but like her parents are ashamed of her and they haven't like let her out of the basement for like 10 years and like oh. finally she joins her brothers on the on the cover of the uh, Snapchat box. I'm here to do the commercial, yeah. brothers. <laughs> <laughs> like a like half her hair is missing. Ball. She's got alopecia. <laughs> This, there you go. That's your Mike Diva edgy commercial for us <laughs> for Rice Krispies. I'm a bit edgy, guys. I don't know. I'm like a little bit of a Banksy. A little, little I quirky. consider myself. Uh... Yeah. You know, you, okay, you are so, kind of the, the, the wait, Banksy of. Uh... So okay. do you guys want to wrap it up here or do you want to keep going and keep the rest for the patrons? We can wrap it up here. Yes. I don't give a f- All right. I got more things to say to Michael Diva. Okay. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, well, just for the, the, the cut down version that's going to go live on YouTube. If you want to hear the, the kind of the, the last 15 minute fart of whatever we're going to say, go to patreoncom slash T one podcast and get bonus content, such as bonus episodes of the show, really experimental stuff that no one else gets to hear except for you. You get a funny role in discord, a patron only chat, early listening privileges at fi- the $5 tier and more. Mike, if people wanted to find your stuff, what's the best way to do that? Uh, Instagram.com slash Mike Diva and YouTube.com slash Mike Diva. And Keemstar.org. I know. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I wanted to do it, but I, I just wanted to do a straightforward plug. Thanks for Keemstar. fucking it up. Keemstar.edu slash Mike Diva. <laughs> Dot gov. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Keemstar.gov. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He's infiltrated the highest orders. 